Hey everybody, I decided to do a um, what's in my makeup bag tag. Not that I was tagged, but I just felt like doing it. And the reason that I have this is I usually don't have a makeup bag because I'm not one of those people that like to touch my makeup because the products that I use last a long time and I don't need to redo them unless, you know, I'm like staying overnight somewhere. Stop such time. But anyway, the reason that I did this is because um, we had picture day, and mine was on Tuesday. And um, I've just kind of left it in there, and it's Thursday. But anyway, because I didn't feel like wearing makeup, you know, yesterday or today. And yeah, so the, um, excuse me, my baby. So um, I don't know if you've heard, but on camera, it takes away about 20% of your makeup you, like bleh. so you want to put it on a lot and you want to retouch it before you go so I brought all my face products that I used for that day and so I'm going to show them for you in no particular order it's gonna be like one of those grab type situations like a grab bag so the first thing that I got was this bronzing brush um, by elf which is angled bronzing brush mm-hmm mm, contours your cheeks are Use it real easy, easy application, you know, great for on the go makeup picture day things. The second thing I got was this Elf Tone Correcting Powder, brought was this Elf Tone Correcting Powder. And the reason I brought this was because that day I woke up with a pimple. And usually my face is like this, like pimple less. So, you know, I needed this green and I needed this to stay on all day. Uh -huh. Not on my eyelid. I just wanted to see if it showed up green, but it really doesn't. Hey, you want to know what? You can kind of see a tiny little den in the middle where I swirl other colors together. Do you guys see it? Oh, I do. Yay. That means I'm using it. Sunshine, can you please get off my head? Silly goose. I'm trying to do a video and keep it in under like an hour. Oh my god, your butt looks so bad. Baby doll. She's a plucker. Anyway, so the next thing I brought was this e.l.f. Um, blush in PG Keen. <sighs> And you want to know what? It's so, so funny because I'm so damn pale, I use this as a bronzer. Yeah, you heard me. It's a bronzer for me. Yeah, I use this as a bronzer. It's, it's not that shimmery. So, you know, you're not supposed to use, like, shimmery colors for bronzer, but it's not really that shimmery. Or maybe it is. I don't know. And I brought a, um, a, a blending wedge. You know, just in case I need to, like, touch on some concealer, you know, blend it out, blend it out, blend it out, quick, 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 quick. Um, I brought this powder brush by e.l.f. Um, it's great. It packs on a lot of product. You can whip it on your face. Will you shut up? The next thing I bought was, um, Michelle Fawn said it was good to, um, oh, bird, you know, use cheek tint, I mean, cheek cream blushes. So I have this one by Beauty Rush. It's the Beauty Rush pink tint. Now, don't ask me why she said to use cream blushes, but it smells really good, like really, really good. And you kind of have to pack it on a little bit to get as much color as you want for a picture day, and it kind of comes out a little bit goopy, so it's not that great. But other than that, though, it's like the only cream blush I own, so now I'm thinking I need to build my collection of cream blushes. All right. A like if you think I should. Um, the next thing I got was this Maybelline XXSL Pro Extensions in Waterproof or Hydrofuge. And it has the one, which is um, a priming, a primer, and then the one side, and then the second side, which is the actual mascara. And it makes your eyes super long, and it stays on forever. Um, the next thing I got with this uh, eyeliner, this e.l.f. Uh, under eye concealer and highlighter and this white this peach side here it's like a salmon tin color this is great for your it's an under eye concealer and the reason that it's an under eye concealer not just an overall concealer is it has a very salmon tint to it which is great for um, getting those blue circles and then the highlighter I actually have to get another one of these because this one's falling apart hey maybe my mom will take me to the store today and this highlighter here is great for highlighting and they're absolutely gorgeous I love the texture it's awesome um, the next thing that I bought brought was my elf stippling brush because I love to stipple my face it is so much fun woohoo um, plus you know it works really great for a three dollar brush um, I brought my elf liquid eyeliner I love this stuff it's in black um, I think I'm running out I have no clue though like how can you tell anyway 
Yeah, so it's in black, and this color stays on all day. I have all the e.l.f. ones. They're absolutely gorgeous. The um, color I wore on my lips was this NYC um, Blue Rose color, and it has like a blue hint to it, so it makes your teeth really white, and it's a nice, fun, bright color. Just gorgeous, um, and it stays for an uber long time, and it's matte, so it's matte, and that's it. And the next thing I brought was this LA Colors. Um, it's a uh, pressed powder, and, and it's in the color Nude. And honestly, it's like a translucent color, and I use this for like a mattifying powder because if I have some oily spaces, you know, I just pat it on. Get it on my brush, pat it on. And voila, it makes your face um, matte because oily, shiny, icky faces are not good for pictures, are they, ladies? The next thing I brought was this e.l.f. eyelid primer, which I don't even know why because I forgot the eyelid colors that I used. But it, it, it works just as well, in my opinion, as the like, um, uh, Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. Okay, maybe not that well because it is. And this is only like a dollar. And the next thing I brought was this clear mascara and eyebrow gel. Not because I use and This is, um, yeah, it's not waterproof. But the reason I brought it, not because I'm going, was going to use it as a mascara, but because, you know, just in case I had like a, f ooh, don't fall. Well, you can fall. This flyaway um, eyebrow, whatever, you can just kind of touch it up. Works real nice, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Woo. So it works real nice, keeps them slick back, doesn't do anything. Um, the next thing I brought, which is kind of, kind of what I just did, was this 10 Pro um, brown uh, eyeliner. And the reason I brought this was because to fill in my brows. Then I brought my L'Oreal uh, True Match Super Blendable Makeup, and I got it in N3 and N2. So I'd probably be about an N2.5 because these two mixed together are my color. The next one I got uh, brought was this foundation brush, you know, super awesome. Um, I brought one of my Mash concealer brush, my LA Colors concealer, my um, it's a blush brush, but I like to use it for the tone correcting powder. Um, it works real nice. I just kind of swirl it in there, whoosh, flip it on my face. And then I brought two eye brushes, which I brought the the eyeshadow brush and the blending brush. Yeah, that's what I brought. And yep, that's all. And I put it all in my super califragilisticexpialidocious cute little makeup bag that's falling apart. Because I think I got it when I was like eight in Newfoundland at Claire's with my Aunt Heather. So yes, that's all I brought. And to let you know, I didn't retouch anything but my mattifying powder and just because I want to stay matte and my lip color but other than that though I didn't reapply anything so you know waste of space in my backpack didn't need to bring it whatever but hey it all worked out for this video right anyway and the only reason and the reason I didn't is because the products I use are they stay forever why because I don't use crappy products anyway so I hope you enjoy the swatches on my hands. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and by the way, the most expensive thing in this whole video was that L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It was only $8. So, yeah. Totally inexpensive. All right. Deuces.